How's it going everybody? This is Sanak here back for the final episode of Pokemon Leaf Green because in this episode we're going to take on the champion. In the last episode we took down all of the Elite Four members and they, we were informed by Lance here that he Blue is indeed the champion who has beaten everyone before us. So let's go ahead and take our throne as the Pokemon champion. And I am deciding to lead off with Knuckles first. Um, I at least hope I did. Oops. Um, okay, let's go ahead and go through his dialogue. I'm so hyped. I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay. I was looking forward to seeing you here, James. My rival should be strong to keep me sharp. While working on my Pokedex, I looked, f I looked all over for Pokemon. Not only that, I assembled teams that would be any Pokemon type. And now, I am the Pokemon League champion. James, you know what that means? I'll tell you. I am the most powerful trainer in the world. Would you take a listen to that song? Jesus, I love this theme. Thank you so much, Game Freak, for making this. But without further ado, we have Champion Blue. I did not intend for that to rhyme. But anyway, he is leading off with Pidgeot, Le being level 59, has the ability Keen Eye, so can't lower its accuracy. It has the moves Aerial Ace, Feather Dance, Sand Attack, and Whirlwind. This thing is strictly here to be annoying. So I want to use Knuckles to go ahead and get Rock Slides off to get it out of here, because with its Sand Attack and its lowering uh, your attack with Feather Dance, it's going to be really annoying. Okay, so I'm going to keep using it. Okay, so this is going to do not too much anymore thanks to that so it's harshly falling yeah so it's gonna do it two stage okay so this is not what i wanted gonna use aerial ace his team is gonna be very very and i mean very high level here so it's gonna be a very intimidating fight and i want him to give me a good challenge before we finish this off so give me your best blue so what I'm going to do, I want to not have that thing heal. I'm going to swap out to Poseidon because it doesn't matter what it's going to do. The only, I uh, just hope don't, okay, good. I was hoping it didn't use Whirlwind. Okay, so it still does crazy amount of damage. But I'm going to use Ice Beam to finish knocking it off because I have more faith in that finishing it off because it was, it did get that Feather Dance off on Knuckles. Okay, so... Thank you, Poseidon, for that. He's going to send out Executor, so I'm going to swap out into Amaterasu here. Um, and this is actually going to be where his team differs. Um, he might not have this Pokemon. He might. I might as well just tell you them all now. So depending on who your starter is, obviously his team will be changed. Um, while I'm fighting him, I'm going to go over it. But his ex Executor here is going to have the ability Chlorophyll, so it's going to speed up during sunlight. Um, it's going to have the moves Gig Giga Drain, Egg Bomb, Sleep Powder, and Light Screen. So it's going to be kind of annoying in that way. Um, if you chose Charmander as your starter, he would have Arcanine instead here. It would actually have the ability Intimidate and have the moves Extreme Speed, Flamethrower, Roar, and Bite. And then last but not least for his team, if you chose, um, let me see what it is. It is, if you chose Squirtle, he would have Gyarados here instead. Um, but in my case, he does have one as well. So it's going to be Hydro Pump, Dragon Rage, Bite, Thrash. And it's going to be level 59 with the ability Intimidate. So be very careful with whatever Pokemon that he might have. So sorry, it took up a little bit of time there. I just want to make sure I get all the Pokemon off. Uh, and this is kind of, um, not his joke Pokemon, but due to us having the type weaknesses for it, it's going to face us no, uh, no threat. So he's going to have Rhydon being level 59, has the ability Lightning Rod, but I don't know why you would use electricity on it anyway. It has the, the moves Takedown, Earthquake, Rock Tomb, and Scary Face that we won't be able to see because that is a dead Rhydon. <laughs> okay, so thank you so much, Rhydon, for being that easy <laughs> okay so we got to 52 Ooh, actually wants to learn hydro pump yes please 
I want to get rid of Acid Armor because I'm not going to use that move ever. And hey, you're learning a new move during the, <laughs> the champion battle, so thanks, Poseidon. Okay, great. So he's going to send out Alakazam here. This is pretty scary. Um, he's going to be kind of one of the tougher Pokemon, unfortunately. But he's going to have this on uh, whatever team you have, uh, depending on your starter. So regardless, he will be there. It's going to be level 57, has the ability synchronize. So be very careful with um, status moves. Don't, don't uh, try to cause any of them. He's going to use Reflect, so I want to use Body Slam because he did get that. Uh, I was going to use Hyper Beam, but he was going to survive it. Um, he has the moves Psychic, Future Sight, Recover, and Reflect. So this can be very annoying, um, especially if he keeps getting the, re the Recover off. So my advice is try to get um, a physical attacker who can try to knock this out as quick as possible. Because unfortunately he did get the Reflect off because Totoro is a... Uh, you know, a pretty pretty thick boy and pretty slow at the same time. So, unfortunately, he wasn't gonna be able to do it. Um, I'm just gonna I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna go hyper beam because he's gonna hit me with the psychic, and I believe at the end of this turn he's gonna hit me with the future sight now. So please, Totoro, either be finishing it off here. Okay, great. Thank you so much. Okay, so what else does he have here? So he's going to have Gyarados here. For me, it, this is going to be his level 61 Pokemon. And like I said, it can change depending on which Pokemon you chose. So in my case, it's, it's going to be the level 61 Gyarados. So my Gyarados is going to be here with... Okay, he's going to be level 61. Has the ability Intimidate. Um, has the moves Hydro Pump, Dragon Rage, Bite, and Thrash. Um, I believe I already went over the other three. It's the same thing. It's just instead of being level 59, it will be 61. So, fortunately, he's going to... Oh, hopefully, we can survive one more because he does have some... The only move that I would be really worried about is that Hydro Pump or Thrash. Hopefully... Totoro can get some thunders off because that's one of the reasons why I gave him thunder. Okay, great. I don't think this is going to do about... I hope this is more than half, but I don't think so. Okay, great. Thank you so much for that four-time weakness. Okay. So hopefully we can get one more off. Is he dumb? Okay. Let's see if we can take this. I really doubt it. Okay, unfortunately not. Oh, no. Okay, so this is where it's going to start getting a little difficult for me. Okay, so I'm not going to take any risks here. I'm going to send out Falco. And I want to hyper beam this thing to oblivion. Awesome. Hopefully that will knock it out. Thank you, thank you. It was a critical hit. I don't know if that mattered or not. <laughs> but that is a dead Gyarados. Awesome. So level 52. Thank you, Falco. And last, but definitely not least, I'm going to keep Falco out here, um, despite it needing to recharge, so I can go ahead and explain the moves. Oh, good, he missed. So he's going to be level 63 with the ability Blaze. So if his HP is below one-third or at one-third, it's going to up his fire-type moves. And it's going to have the Citrus Berry. So it's going to have the moves Fire Blast, Aerial Ace, Slash, and Fire Spin. It's not really a good Charizard in my opinion. <laughs> so I'm going to just Hyper Beam this thing again. And then if you chose Charmander, he would have Blastoise instead. It's going to be level 63 as well. It's going to have Torrent, or it's going to have its uh, type ability, same thing as Charizard. It's going to have the moves Hydro Pump, Rain Dance, Skull Bash, and Bite. So that one's actually going to be pretty tough in my opinion because its defenses are crazy high. And last but not least, if, I, if you chose uh, Squirtle, he would have a Venusaur like I do. So... And its Venusaur would be level 63, have Overgrown for, Overgrow for its ability, have the Citrus Berry as well, have the moves Solar Beam, Synthesis, Sunny Day, and Growth. Actually one of the weaker ones in my opinion because that Pokemon does not have a really good time attacking you unfortunately. So, okay, so we unfortunately fainted with Falco. I'm going to send out Knuckles here. And hopefully we can get that uh, rock, uh, rock Slide off and finish it off. Ok, 
Okay, he's gonna fire blast. I think you could take this. Okay, you cannot take that. <laughs> oh no. This is not what I wanted. Okay, so we do have Poseidon here. So it, the only way that it could attack me here is either slash or wing attack. So let's go ahead and go sir. Oh no, aerial ace, my bad. It's gonna take that. Okay, great. Will this finish it off? Awesome. With that, blue is done. We defeated champion blue. Oh my god, I can't believe we did. <laughs> no, that can't be! You beat me at my best! After all that work to become the champion? My reign is already over? That's not fair! Why? Why did I lose? I never made any mistakes raising my Pokemon. Darn it, you're the Pokemon League champion. Although I don't like to admit it. James. So you've won. Sincerely, congratulations. You're the new Pokemon League champion. You've grown up so much. Yeah, you've grown up so much since you first left the Bulbasaur to work on the Pokedex. James, you have come of age. Blue, I'm disappointed in you. I have come... I came when I heard you've beaten the Elite Four. But when I got here, you already lost. Blue, do you understand why you lost? You have forgotten to treat your Pokemon with love and trust. Without them, you will never become a champ again. James, you understand your victory was not just your own doing. The bond you share with your Pokemon is marvelous. James, come with me. Ahem. Congratulations, James. This floor is the Pokemon Hall of Fame. Pokemon League champions are honored for their exploits here. Their Pokemon are also recorded in the Hall of Fame. James, you have worked hard to become the new League champion. Congratulations, James. You and your Pokemon are Hall of Famers. As we go ahead and heal up our Pokemon for the last time, they deserve that rest. To be honest, we're going to fade to black here. <laughs> So unfortunately, it's going to save. Hopefully, <laughs> this recording went well. <laughs> so we got Knuckles level 50. Poseidon 52. Amaterasu level 50. Totoro at 52. Pidge uh, Falco at 52. And last but not least, Lotus at 55. So we are at the Hall of Fame already, which is fantastic. I, I believed in my team since day one, and we did it. So... League champion, congratulations. Sorry about that playtime. I could have done it faster, but there have been times where I had to grind. So, <laughs> um, yeah, that's the reason for that. But oh well, it wasn't a speed run. So we get a cool little cutscene here. Wonder what they said to each other. <clears throat> to each other. <laughs> okay, and with that, we take one look back and finally run off. And begins the end credits. Honestly, thank you all so much for this amazing journey. Honestly, I am blown away from the support. Literally, I don't know what I would do without you guys. I, this is the part of the game where I don't know what to say, so I'm going to say nothing but thanks for everything. <laughs> um, as well as just kind of reflect on the journey that we just had. Because I remember when I was first starting off this series, uh, the channel hasn't grown, um, or the channel wasn't where it is today. And honestly, that's where I have all of you to thank. And honestly, from the bottom of my heart, I know I had, um, I would not have been, or I would not have made it to where I am today because, uh, without all of y'all's support. Literally, I want to thank you all so much for welcoming me into this community that we have here for Pokemon. I mean, I know I'm, um, I am playing Pokemon at the moment, but, um, I don't want to, I mean... I don't want this to come off as a bad thing, but um, I wouldn't consider self myself only a Poketuber because um, I play other things other than Pokemon. 
but when I joined into this community, it literally, it reminded me of more of a reasons why I started playing Pokemon in the first place. Because my goal for Pokemon was to try to meet new people and like play and trade with people and have fun with friends and everything. And unfortunately, being here um, where I live today, there's not many people who actually get to play those games or uh, not many people who do. So unfortunately, I didn't get to experience it fully, but now thankfully me being in this community that completely changed and honestly i am so happy that i actually got to finish this series um a little bit before sword and shield came out um because that honestly i am looking forward to sword and shield and getting to battle with you all making some kind of content with you all and honestly without this po with it, without leaf green I would not have I probably would not have met all of you guys and I have this game to thank and it's gonna hold a very very special place in my heart indeed um, but this this game was fun um, I love the Pokemon series this one's by far is not my favorite it's not one of my favorite Pokemon games um, I, f I I love it don't get me wrong I'm not saying that it's bad but I have other Pokemon games that I really am excited to get to in the future um, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this as much as I did because I got to share my experiences with you, um, got to show my, show my knowledge, I guess, for Pokemon, and honestly, I think I'm just rambling by this point. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and let the credits roll, and I'll see you guys at the end for um, a special announcement. So uh, stay tuned, and I'll see you guys at the end. Ah, James, you're back, are you? How much have you filled of your Pokedex? May I see it? Let's see. You've caught 75? Now that's impressive. There's something I want to ask you of you, James. Come, follow me. Recently, there have been sightings of many rare Pokemon species. I'm talking about Pokemon that have never been seen in Kanto. I would love to go see things for myself, but I'm much too old. Since I can't do that, James, I'd like for you to go in my place. Hey, I heard that. Gramps, what's with favoring James over me all the time? I went and collected more Pokemon and faster, too. You should just, you should just let me handle everything. I know, I know. Of course I need your help, too. Now, I need to see both your Pokedexes. And that's done. Now these units can record data on a lot more Pokemon. Now, James and Blue, this time you really must work towards filling your Pokedexes. I urge you to make them the best and the most completed of all time. Truly, this is a monumentally great undertaking in Pokemon history. Gramps, calm down, don't get so excited. I'll get the Pokedex completed, don't you worry about a thing. I think I'll try looking around one island first. Anyways, I'm out of here. Alrighty guys, if you saw, if you stuck around to the end and you saw all that, yes, I'm going to be tackling the post game for sure in this series. So the main story might be done, but we do have some other things that we need to take care of now that the post game is open up to us. So 
I want to thank you all so much for watching, and I really hope you enjoyed the series, and let's go ahead and continue on to the post game and see what it has to offer. Now that we have our Pokedex upgraded to the national version of it. With that being said, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one.